Hello there, friends. Duke of Hayes Plays here. Thank you once again for allowing me into your homes. This is episode 7 in our Divine Divinity playthrough. Um, today's episode is probably going to be mostly me running around um, killing enemies because uh, that's kind of what I like to do once I get like towards... I think we hit level 20 in this episode, so basically I'm running around the map and killing all the enemies that we have yet to kill up to this point but we do complete a couple of quests we turn in the sir richard quests that we forgot to turn in we finish up with dr alrath um, we discover the duke's assassin assassination attempt which i realized i don't think i went back and did that's something i'm gonna have to do later but um, if, you, if you like what you see, please consider following me here on Twitch, subbing to me on Duke of Hayes Plays, as well as my main channel, Duke of Hayes, where I'm currently documenting a weight loss journey. But yeah, thanks for watching. Time to die. Die, die. Time to die. Man, you do no damage. It's crazy. It is so crazy, idiot. The gods are with you. You are quicker of hand and eye now. Oh, sweet. Awesome. I assume that means more agility. Oh, dude, I got a seven inch agility increase. That's insane. Or five, maybe it was five. My head. My head. My head. Kill the civilian. Kill. Kill. Say what? I have skills apparently that I have. Wait a minute. What? Oh man, are you telling me that I haven't even joined the Thieves Guild yet? Oh, come on, man. Oh no, I did. Huh. Where did these two skills come from then? Color me a color, baby. Okay, I have to like cliff notes, cliff notes. Quickly, quickly. I can't meander in the menus too much. Um, I should have three points in lockpick, yeah? And that's just by me doing quests and junk, and I want curse. So curse and identify four, maybe. What else could I have gotten? Couldn't have got augment damage. I could have gotten a point in enchant weapon, I guess. I could start getting points in, um, more splitting arrow, true shot, bow expertise, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to be pigeonholed into one weapon. Could have started getting lightning damage as a passive. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, okay, so let me have to talk to Sir Dante, but first let me go. You look lost, stranger. Little wonder, Verdistus is a very big town. I grew up here, but uh, there are places even I have never visited. Where can I find the nearest inn? Where's some supplies and equipment? I'm gonna go to the Verdistus, go to other sites. Looking for town guards' quarters. They're located here. They kind of got to this. Okay, farewell. Thank you. You know, I don't remember talking to you. Maybe I accidentally clicked on you, but... Wasn't really trying to talk to you, Jay. Welcome to the general store. I'm Lipton, the owner of the shop. Please browse around. I have items and wares from across all parts of Rivalon. Uh, do you import your items for another reason? How goes business lately? I'll do as you ask and deliver this to Hugh. Can I see what you have to offer? This dude doesn't really sell anything that I want. Hugh was the guy that, uh... Gave us the quest to investigate the poisoning of the fields. It was huge. But yes, that is a later time. Um, I'm thinking this might be my new stream time. I really have to remove that uh, stream timer because it's not accurate. Man, that's a lot of cats. Good thing I didn't hurt them because all these ones would be attacking me right about now. <laughs> what level am I even? 15. Okay, so we could probably go to Dr. Elras and kill that dude. See if I can, anyway. First, let me go get those lockpicks. Okay, there was someone I'm supposed to talk to, Ducal in. I already did that, though, because I joined the Thieves Guild, so... That part of my life is over. I've already joined the Thieves Guild. But yeah, this these evening streams are going to be a lot more, like... Because I did my two hours worth of cardio today, I'm, like, hella tired. Physically tired. Mentally, I'm okay. I'm mentally okay right now. Whoa! That was uh, weird. Did that get uh, caught on camera? That was uh, hella weird. Again, this part will be cut out. I'm just uncovering the map. One of the rich dudes lives here. I don't know if it's Patrick or Dante. Because, um, you know, 
the only way you can check the full map is by opening up the stupid quest menu. There's no hotkey as far as I know to open up. So this is Sir Patrick's Manor, Malcolm's House, Sir Dante's Mansion, the Merchant's Guild, Verdistus City Watch, the teleporter's right there. So Dante is who we have to go see about um, uncovering the assassin in the Assassin's, Assassin's Guild. But I forgot to turn in the quest to Sir Richard or whatever the stupid the knight named Richard. He's not stupid, he's just incompetent, I guess. Being chased by a filthy assassin. Who we killed for him, and I forgot to turn the quest in upon reviewing the footage and never went back to talk to him. So I need to do that right now. Shall we? Like these areas are huge, man. Even though you can run in them, it's like feels like they're Unreasonably large. At least the music is good in this place. Like, there's a quest here to help convince this lady that, um... Like, you have a chance to help this girl basically lose her house. Because her sister's like a selfish bitch. She's like over here somewhere. There's all kinds of little things that we can do here. But, like, I don't want to get too ahead of myself and do things that seem like they would be, like, out of order. But Malcolm, they said this was his house, right? No, that's, this is the, um... The local alchemist. You were a healer for just tell me what problems are you telling to do these days? Do you mix your medicine yourself? Accept. Disappeared, but I actually drained down for you. I'm sorry, but I've never asked and he never told me. He only used to bring me a barrel of his tea every month. Strange brew, it never got cold, no matter where you stored the barrel. I suspect magic was involved in its creation. Yeah, if you need to buy potions, this is the guy. Late, how's it goes? It goes good. How you doing? Uh, this is probably going to be my new stream time just because I work out during the day and like I'm on a health journey. And so um, during the day, I'm kind of busy doing workouts and working on video, like actually editing videos now just because I'm trying. Like I said, I'm trying hard, man, to get this shit off the ground. And so I'm actually editing my videos. You could, I don't know, would you mind watching them sometime to tell me if you think, because I think they're funny, but like, obviously my opinion is biased. But like, um, it's on the Duke of Hayes Plays channel. It's basically our, our my gameplay channel. And like, Duke of Hayes is more going to be long form videos. I'm currently documenting my weight loss. I'm down to 221. I was 231. I'm down to 221 right now. And I am hella tired because I did two hours of cardio today. It's like hour long videos because we're kind of still doing the playthrough right now. So like after I do a stream, I download the video and then I edit it in such a way that uh, it's more entertaining because I can meander a lot. And so it basically it's me cutting out a lot of the running around, exploring and looking through menus, stuff that may not be super duper interesting. But it would be nice to have a second opinion just because, you know, like, I'm biased against my own stuff. And out of all my friends, you're basically the only one that still talks to me, not to sound like a whiner. Fortunately, what's the news? Thanks for talking. But, you know, I gave Miguel a hard time because basically his friendship is for sale. Which, you know, I'm trying not to be judgmental about that, but, you know. If it gets to the point where I have to pay one of my supposed friends $1,500 just to have them play a game with me, that's a little unreasonable. To me, anyway. You know, call me crazy, but I'm not trying to be super dramatic or anything about it, but that definitely threw me for a loop. Like, I can't afford those prices, dude. And it's like, me personally, I would be uncomfortable accepting something that extravagant from somebody. Like, I know that he said that he met these people in Anime Club, but it's like, you know them so well that you're willing to accept, like, accept a super duper expensive gift. Like, I don't know, I would feel uncomfortable. Like, how I grew up is different, because anytime, like, I got a present from, like, somebody, it was never without strings attached. So, you know, if you have good enough friends that they're willing to be Daddy Warbucks for you, then cool, I guess. Super lucky. Age stopped talking to me, like, I don't know, sometime this year. I don't know what, for, for what reason. I probably could have said something to hurt his feelings. I didn't mean to. A lot of the times, I'm just shooting straight from the hip, you know. I'm not trying to insult or hurt anybody's feelings a lot of the time. Not trying to. But I must have said something that upset him. I don't know what it was. He never said anything. Any stories? Thank you. I'm not trying to talk to you, dudes. I'm just trying to uncover the map and go get those lockpicks. But yeah, Duke of Hayes plays as the main gameplay channel now. Like, I don't know. I think it's funny, but I'm very biased. What's Could you, like, stop talking to him, please? Thank you. I'm not trying to click on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Honestly, it might not have been anything. I remember he was going to join a D&D group with myself and a few others, and he flaked day one with no words to anyone. Yeah, I mean, I could probably ask Birdo. Like, Birdo is still a member of my Discord. Because, like, Age just straight up left uh, my Discord without saying anything. But Birdo's still in it. I just haven't bothered to ask because I figured, like, you know, like, maybe he doesn't want to be bothered or I don't know. One of these days I'll ask just because, like, I don't know. This stuff can get lonely. I do get my viewers from time to time. It's just that, um, I don't know, man. Anybody can be lonely. Are you lonely up there in your topia? Anybody can be lonely sometimes. Through it all, you're just completely alone. Okay, this dude has to leave. Okay, let me see. It's here in this table. Okay, he's gone. Lockpicks, done. The other guard didn't give a crap. I hope his sister o is okay. I hope, like, nothing, like, bad happened to his family. I remember that, um, let me see, I got these lockpicks, and if, let me check my stats really quickly. My agility went up to 72. Just having those lockpicks in your inventory gives you 72 agility, and it would be insane for me to go give these back to the dude. It's like, you may miss out on 1,500 experience or whatever it is, but, like, it is so not worth returning the lockpicks, especially since I'm a melee character. Say what? Hello, friend. It's a great pleasure to meet you again. Remember me? You saved me from the illness back there in Alaroth. Hello for a lot. Of course I remember. I hope everything's fine. Yes, yeah, fine. Thanks to you. I'm really happy meeting you again. So now I can thank you for my healing. Please take this ring as a small reward. It's been property of my family for ages, and now I want you to have it. I hope it serves you well. Thank you, Verlot. I'm quite sure it will. Maybe we'll meet again someday. Verlot, you say? What are those lockpicks made out of rabbit leg bones? Ew. Maybe, but they're really good for melee characters. Like, mage, you don't really care about hit chance, but... Oh, the sapphire ring. Not a good sapphire ring. Ten lightning res, ten poison res, five spirit res, two to sight and two to hearing. Man, that's, that is tragic. And I didn't save because I forgot that this dude was going to be here. Well... There's just a expensive paperweight that I'm holding on to, maybe. Man, that could have been so much more than what it is. Like, magic resistance is fine, but, like, hearing and sight are, like, worthless stats. Like, being able to hear an enemy, like, I can see them literally on my screen, so it's, like, worthless, man. What do you have to offer? This guy sells you a branch that uh, will get that lady killed. You get a quest, and she teaches you how to summon a demon, and, um... If you ask him for the special piece of wood that you're supposed to get from the Enchanted Forest, it actually f causes the mission to fail because you took the lazy way out instead of going to the forest yourself. I had that, I, you know, I find that out the, the hard way, and so I had to reload and, and just wait so that I could um, learn my free summon skill. <laughs> this music definitely reminds me of... Um, the Zelda Temple stage from Smash Melee. Uh -oh. oh yeah, look at that hit chance. Oh, it feels so good. Put my dagger away. I don't want to accidentally kill any of these cats because that broke my heart last time. I actually redid a whole stream because I didn't want to have that happen. So I'm not doing that again. Now don't start that again. Okay, I feel I got the lock picks. I'm not gonna return them to that dude this time. We could join the merchants guild. It doesn't really do anything outside of it gives you the ability to buy a house. But one of them make like three million golds in equipment. I'm not. I don't know, man. I have too much of a conscience. A lot of the time, I know I say that as a murder hobo in DOS 2, but like there are some people that I don't murder just because I have a conscience. Cats, I don't know, man. Even though they give you experience, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Like, if you are going to min-max your experience, you'd have to kill, like, every what, every dog that you see, every cat that you see, every rat that you see, you'd have to kill it. And I don't know, man, it feels wrong killing pets. I'll kill people, but killing pets... It's weird how it goes that way, huh? Like, you're more... You feel less bad about killing a person in a video game than you would, like, their pet, just because pets are, like, supremely innocent, right? They're they're loyal, so I would feel bad about it. What the... Uh, what house is this? Then what are you going to do when the next big RPG comes out with the final boss being a cat? Well, I'm sure there there have been. But if it's an evil, scary-looking one, if they made it cuddly, that would just be messed up. Hello, I'm Lucius, but everybody here about calls me Luke. You're an adventurer, aren't you? If I weren't strapped down with a family, I'd be exploring the world just as you. I imagine you have seen many exotic places in Rivalon. 
Oh, the life of an adventurer can be very boring. Everyone's always asking to do this favor or save them from that evil. Not everyone. Not everything I see is exotic. I see once unfortunate to see a what? I was once unfortunate to see a Nurbul toilet. Rescuing damsels from the evil clutches of monsters can be a lot of fun. Farewell. Uh, I could be sarcastic. I could be kind of quote unquote funny. I don't know. Maybe the damsels part. Ooh, let me guess. These damsels have blonde hair and are amazingly beautiful. <laughs> you really are lucky leading, leading such a life. Uh huh. You can marry someone in this game. It's canon that, uh, well, it's not canon, I guess. I don't know. They never say who Alexander's father is. Uh, mother, I should say. His father's Lucian. Duh. But they never say who his mom is. You marry an elven. You can marry an elven lady or an elven man if you're playing a female Lucian, um, which is not canon. He was clearly a man baby in the game, but who knows? Maybe he's non-binary. Point being. There's a lady in the Alvin village that you have to like. Basically, you trick her into thinking that you found her grandma's amulet that was lost to time because there's this dwarven jeweler in the dwarven halls. And he's so good that he can make a replica of her grandmother's jewel that looks just like the picture. And so, like, that's how you win her hand in marriage and you get your elven bride. Spiciest thing you guys do is kiss each other. But, hey, you know, I'll take, it. I'll take my elven bride any way I can get her. Why shouldn't I? I'm single. Not interested in talking to you. Would you stop? All these random vagabonds. Okay, so I got the lockpicks. Let me go, like I said, before I get any more sidetracked, I need to go, um... Turn in Richard's quest because I forgot to do it, and the longer I take, the less experience I'm going to get for it, probably. Uh, huh, who got killed here? It, whatever it was, it dropped to me. Did somebody kill a cat? It wasn't me. You fuckers. Cats, Rob, maybe it's the rats, and I'm picking up rat meat. Let's see how it tastes. Man, I really wish I had saved before I got that sapphire ring. I hate stats. I hate random stats in, in games like this. See, it's fine because I play solo. I wouldn't be like one of your friends who's constantly re-rolling items and constantly trying to steal shit from merchants. That's why playing solo is kind of nice because I can re-roll all I want and not um, inconvenience anybody. Although playing in a group, you're like less reliant on gear as long as everybody has a good build. Because a four-man team is like ridiculously powerful in DOS 2. It's more powerful than one single lone wolf character. A lone wolf character has the power of two people, but four people, obviously. Four is greater than two. Why, it's twice greater than two. Uh, he's down here in the farmlands. I'm getting sidetracked. Focus, focus. After a long day of cardio and learning about our democracy failing. I'm a little exhausted. Uh, so Richard's over here. Basically, the dude tells you to, um... He says that he has an assassin after him. And he's hiding somewhere in the fields. And uh, he's basically, let me see. Yeah, you can accidentally kill this dog. I don't want to do that. I must have accidentally killed one on my adventures because during one of my off stream playthroughs, all the dogs were attacking me because they knew I somehow killed one of their own. And it was very weird to me that like the dogs were attacking me for what I thought was no reason, but I guess I must have accidentally killed one. There aren't as many dogs in this game as there are cats. Which, which is why I just, like I said, the guilt was overwhelming. So I'm right here. Sir Richard is in this barn right here. And the assassin that was uh, stalking him was in this field, I want to say. Yeah, he was here. Right here. So, like, his name was Crawler. Crawler was here. And Sir Richard, or just Richard, was here. He tells you, oh, there's an assassin after me, but I give him the slip. And then you go over here, and there's a guy standing here. And he says, oh, there's a strange fellow over there. He's a cold-blooded killer. You better watch out. And that's how you kill him. But upon reviewing the footage, I never actually turned the quest in. So I probably can go kill the Troll King, even though they're really dangerous. Like, I think I can handle killing him with poison weapon. It was hard killing him on Mage because trolls are hella resistant to fire, and I wasn't at the point where I had lightning magic. And lightning magic was super expensive. Are you bad to come back? I hope no one saw you. Bloody hells, I'm becoming a nervous wreck. I confronted your friend Crawler and did unto him as he had done unto others. The assassin's as dead as a miser's sense of charity. You can relax, at least for a while. So, 33,000 experience. That's a lot, actually. That's crazy. By the merciful gods, my chances for the next week or so have improved a lot thanks to you. Uh, ooh, that came out weird. Have improved a lot thanks to you. Maybe it will give me time to get away, but I doubt it. On Janice's orders, the Assassin's Guild will hunt me across Rivalon and back again. 
But you've brought me a little more time, friend, and for that I'm very grateful, so... Rest in peace. <clears throat> Sorry, I slipped with the tongue. What I wanted to say was, good luck, my friend. You've got the wits to survive, I hope. Oh. And then he just leaves. Oh. An easy 33,000 experience for killing, like, an enemy that is, like, not hard to kill at all. It's quite crazy. But yeah, the Troll King is over here. A lot of dudes are having trouble with this Troll King in particular. Um, This can be a pretty gnarly encounter. I should probably rest so I can get all my mana back and stuff. Let me get my teleporter. Sleep on my hay. Basically, that's where I set up shop for like most of the game. The very last parts of the game take place in like this desert, arid desert area. Oh. Huh? What are we here? Your stupid head answer my round, little piggy human. Who are you? Who are you, little short RC? Ha, me king of trolls. Never heard of you, your majesty. Since when did the trolls develop a monarchical system, and why do you attack innocent passerbys, sire? Piggy Wiggly humans took my bridge. Now trolls cannot ask for free donation of coins anymore. Aha, uh -huh, you took gold from travelers. I see. You must be very rich then. Yes, Troll King, very mighty and very rich. Many coins here in chests. You pay now, or I pick my teeth with your bones from in an hour from now. Many come here in, ch in chests, eh? <clears throat> I think I'll have to relieve you of your ill-gotten gains. So he's really, like, he casts, like, some sort of um, slow ability on you. So he's, now that he's dead, the rest will fall like dominoes. See, the cool thing about having 87 agility is that I have really high dodge chance as well. Backstab, backstab. It was quite hard on a um, mage because I didn't have a lightning bolt or whatever it's called. Ah, uh, feels good getting lots and lots of hits. Three restorations to get me back to full. Very nice. You could probably do this earlier. I've done it as early as 12, I think, but... You're really gonna need some sort of ability to amp your damage up, like... Poison weapon, be a mage, use poison weapon, or... Drink a crap ton of potions. That's what I had to do whenever I played through Warrior. Played through as Warrior, I should say. 1,200 gold. Not too shabby. These have nothing in them, which is whatever. Mm, there's a Lich. Who's going to be really annoying to kill. He guards a pretty decently powerful weapon if you like two-handers. It might be a green weapon, but I think it's yellow. Not, not sure. We'll see when we get there. But Liches are level 25. They cast really powerful lightning spells on you. They cast Drain Life on you. They're really, really annoying. And they're weak to fire. Uh, who is uh, not... Where is he at? He's over here, I think. I should make markers on my map. But this guy... Homer. You know that troll problem you had in this area? I've dealt with it for you. You're safe to go about your daily business. 36,000 experience. How about a little material gratitude, friend farmer? I risked my life for you, remember? The trolls have caused us much trouble. Their destruction is easily worth this bag of coins. I only wish I had more to give you, but know that you will never lack a welcome on this homestead. By the good gods, Trisha will dance around the moonlight when she hears these uh, good dead, these what? Those beasts are dead. She lived in terror that she or I would be carried off one day. Come visit us this midwinter and she'll cook you a feast such as will be remembered by folk a hundred years from now. Uh, time to go, I think. Farewell. Is your wife perhaps a pleasure model? I mean, hey, you could join us, you know. I'm not, uh, I'm not too picky. Homer. The last guy is over here. Right by Hugh, as a matter of fact, so this actually works out for me. Uh, he's down here. Uh, is it Reginald? I think his name was. Oh, Reginald. Good, Reginald. Your son's death is avenged. I've slain all the trolls. You've slain those foul creatures? I can't believe it. Thank you, my friend. I feel somehow relieved. It's as if an invisible weight had been lifted from me. The knowledge that my loss cannot happen to another somehow gives me new strength. I'll do what my friends have ex exhorted me to do. Start a new life. But for now, I must rest a little to gather new strength. Thank you again. Are you feeling any better? Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. So I guess he doesn't really give me anything. He... I was hoping he did. You can open this grave, which is sacrilegious. Watcher's Metal Buckler. Huh. Monk's Round Shield. Well, this is just clearly better. The only thing is this has two charm slots in it, though. Mm. It does have spirit res, so it'll definitely help me fight liches, bitches. I'm just going to take your son's shield or whoever was buried here. I'm sure you guys don't need it. What can the dead do with items? Felons. Like I said, my moral compass points to uh, the treasure trove. So he was over here. Either the merchant can't pay him or 
someone can't pay him and you can choose to like pay for him and it gives you experience glad that you came back to pay me a humble farmer visit without your help the whole region would have been sent to rack and ruin now what can i do for you this day dr Allah told me the key to the cell was stolen from him some time ago he has nothing the poison so i need to deliver hang on let me um go do that quest real quick i should i forgot about dr Elrath. should have done that first hopefully the gin can be poisoned dr Elrath. so this is like a light puzzle you have to light and extinguish torches to get your way over here i forget what the solution is though i just fumble with it until i stumble through now remember there are multiple torches in these areas not it's not just the ones that you can immediately see so i had to unlight this one on the right for this door to open also my clicker doesn't work right sometimes i need to see my doctor about that bronze key spiders leather belts well i'll just sell this for money okay that does nothing now i need to get down here so i need to figure out what torch combination opens this door down here that does nothing what is this too oh my gosh oh I, I hate the pathing in this game so much dude it's like not even funny the pathing is just terrible okay so that closed that door there you go and i just fumbled through it be wary there's a really powerful enemy down here he killed me a couple of times on my mage well made dirk a poison bronze key so i think they had intended for you to use poison or something like it they they you know game developers are usually on your side they try to give you hints on how to do things at least that's what i like to believe but the annoying thing is i have to manually move all these crates one by one to open to get to this door and sometimes you can lock yourself trap yourself in okay go through here he's down there watch out oh shoot He's just behind this door. Oh, he just one shot me. That's insane, dude. Run. It's crazy that he one shots me, dude. That is madness. Oh, man. What a pain. No, goddamn pathing, man. Yeah, that's how you have to do it. But you see that shit? He's only level 15, by the way. Only level 15. And he can one shot you. How much health do I have? 169. It's just madness. Elrath, what in the hell do you think you're doing? We supplied you with the Grey Death Poison to sabotage the Ducal Army. Not to settle your petty grievances in the poor section of Riverton, your poisoning of that well has attracted the attention of the healers of Alaroth. It won't take them long to realize that- Oh, the scum. Okay, the scum who are dying are suffering from poisoned water rather than a plague. Then they'll track the poison to you. If you're not immediately lynched, Duke Janus will be forced to have you publicly executed. He tells me slow boiling and vitriol will be the method. It's too late to use the rest of the poison on the barracks well. Oh, okay, so barracks well, as we originally ordered you to do. Just get out onto the streets and pretend to be trying to cure the plague. If you get out of this situation alive, we may yet have a use for you. Pray it will be... Pray it will be so, otherwise I'll personally eat your still beating heart. Yours in black fury. I. P.S. Destroy this letter and anyone who comes stooping about. So he didn't destroy the evidence because he's a dum dum. So pick this up. You need that as proof of his evil doings. And there's a couple of cures here. You're going to want these to cure people down in the poor section. But that's how you solve this quest. That gin is no joke. I don't know how you're supposed to kill it. Probably with ranged like I did. Because otherwise, uh... Ew, there's hands in here. Well. Let me save. Don't want to do that again. Are you sneaking into my house? You need to be cured or are you an ordinary thief? Can't the doctor have privacy at all? You dare to call yourself a doctor? Well, I found a very interesting letter in your secret cellar, Dr. Elrath. What have you say about that? You sneaked into my home? How dare you? I have powerful... Uh, Gertrude, I can't see, hon. I have powerful friends at the royal court, you know. Do not think that you can get away with this outrage. You shall pay for this. Get out. See you in prison, Elrath. See you in prison, doctor. What do you have to offer me? There are problems with the caravans, you say? Oh, yes, right now. I'm desperately awaiting a new delivery of fresh fruit, but the card is late in arriving. Sorry to hear that. You might be able to help me now. I come to think of it. If you're heading south, 
in the near future, could you maybe keep an eye out for a cart containing fruits? I'd be very grateful if you could bring me a word of it. And I'll do it. So let's pick this quest up. Um, yeah, killing that Jin, I had to, uh, use ranged to be able to kill him. Okay, now I can go back to, um, Hugh. Hugh Jess? Well, well, well. It seems that we have found who we were looking for. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, talk to Hugh. Turns out Dr. Arrath is behind the poisoning of the harvest. Not only that, but he was also responsible for the plague in Riverton, the same plague he was supposed to be curing. What? That is disturbing news. I really thought Dr. Alrath was an honest and decent man. I guess I was mistaken. Well, thank you for finding out who was responsible for ruining my crops. Here, take these gold pieces as a reward. Okay. Uh, Lepton asked me to deliver this order of bill to your hand. Lepton hasn't paid me for more than two months. He gets no more till the old bill is dealt with. Uh, how embarrassing. When Lepton asked me to deliver the note, he never mentioned there'd be a problem. The problem with Lepton is that he's no head for figures. He's already poured a fortune into that store, but he just won't accept that business just isn't earning enough to cut a profit. How much money does he owe you? He owes me 2,741 gold pieces, poor man. It's partly my fault. I should have let him... I shouldn't have never let him run up such a huge bill. I'm pretty sure that Lepton can't pay back such a huge sum with the economy the way it is. I hope you understand why I can't accept this order, Bill, friend. Here, Hugh, take these gold pieces and deliver his requested amount of grain. Hmm, I don't understand why you're willing to settle the debts of a person you barely know, unless there's some sort of understanding between you. Nevertheless, I'll take the money. Times are too hard to go looking a gift horse in the mouth. Tell Lepton that I'll send the grains as soon as it's loaded up, so. Good guy, Lucian. You can choose to do whatever you want. But, I mean, I'll make that 2700 back. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Okay, that's done. Who was responsible for the harvest disaster? Dr. Arliss key was stolen. Let's see, do those assassins drop anything? Or... I didn't bother to check. Oh, they did, and I didn't pick it up. Someone has been sticking their nose too deep into my business. I need you to eliminate them. I need you to eliminate this threat. I guess the normal payment is okay. So I also have proof of him trying to murder me. And we can take this to Ralph, and that'll end this quest right here. And then we'll be level 16. Let's go drop this off right now, I think. Okay, let me go to Ars Arcana really quickly. Just so that uh, it's not dark all the time. And then Dwarven Bread in. Uh, Ralph is over this way. I think he's over this way. Speaking of the ones looking. Hmm. Huh? I think he's over this way right now. <laughs> Ralph, are you here? Ah, here he is. I have discovered evidence that this so-called Dr. Arath is responsible for the plague. What? How can that be? He fights valiantly to help the afflicted and is respected by many in the town. How could he be responsible for this plague? Well, here, take a look at this letter I found in the doctor's house. It seems the doctor is nothing more than a despicable murderer. But this is terrible. One moment. Guards, go and arrest Dr. Alrath immediately. I apologize for shouting at you, friend. It's just so hard to believe he could do that. I shall send word to Stormshift's castle. I'd like to meet him. Of course, here, take this letter. Okay, so there's like multiple ways, I guess, for you to get recommend recommended. All of them are kind of difficult. Like, you have to get past that gin in order for you to get this letter. Uh, I think probably the Assassin's Guild is the easiest. But I turned that in. I didn't even get experience for turning that quest in. I thought I would. I promised the coin I would. Hurry, hurry. Let's go to Verdistus then. Um, let's try to join the merchants. Let's talk to them and see if I can join. So this is Yarin. Greetings, what can I do for you? Can you tell me? So who are you? What is it you do here? Hmm, since you're clearly no merchant, I could ask you in turn what you are doing here. But all right, I'm in a good mood today. I'm the archivist for the Merchants Guild. It is my responsibility to keep a record of all things handled by this guild so we can check things again at a later time. Now, is there anything I could do for you? What can you tell me about the Merchants Guild? Merchants Guild is an organization that inspects and regulates trade. It is a place where merchants gather to perform business matters. What can you tell me about Verdistus? Verdistus is a great city and home to the Merchants Guild. Many merchants come here to trade. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. 
This guy's gonna try to get you to sell out Maria. I'm not gonna do that. Welcome to the Merchant's Guild, the most influential guild in all of Verdistus. I have not, I have not seen you here before in our house, so may I ask what I can do for you? May I know your name? I am Malcolm, the Honorable Secretary of this Guild. If you wish to do business with our house, you must speak with me first. What kind of business takes place in the Merchant's Guild? I'm afraid I am bound by strict laws of our Guild not to impart such information to commoners and strangers. I'd like to learn more about the history of the Merchant's Guild. Very well. Many years ago, a group of merchants founded a guild where other merchants could receive financial support. The organization established the first caravan routes to the Kingdom of the Dwarves and Elves. Please continue. The former duke asked the guild to quickly build an efficient economy, so the merchants ordered tremendous amounts of gold bars from the dwarves, which were then pressed into coin immediately. What happened next? With a single, within a single decade, we became the most powerful organization in the dukedom. How do I become a member of the guild? You must have a document that proves you have a business of a medium size in the dukedom. If you are not affiliated with a company, then you can always pay us some of 10,000 gold. 10,000 gold coins? That's a rather large amount. Think of the many advantages you can get as a guild member. With the proper training, all shops will give you better prices. Yes, the fee is large, but I'd be willing to lower the fee if you could do me a favor. Tell me about this favor. There's a woman called Maria living in the poor quarter of Riverton. She is slandered the reputation of the guild for quite some time. I've recently received information that Maria is planning to assassinate a member of the guild. So, what do you want me to do with Maria? We cannot take any direct steps against Maria ourselves. If you can take care of her, then your favor with us would rise considerably. I would even waive the entrance fee to join. You want me to kill an innocent woman? I might seem desperate to the guild, but I assure you I'm no assassin. A pity I will not take any steps to deal with Maria Jets. Uh, so, I'm not going to kill her. I'm going to slander this. Well, it's not slander. He really is stealing from the guild, so... It's only slander if it was a lie. Uh, is there somebody in here? Let me control save. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's locked in. Oh, well, good thing there's just always keys lying around, so if you didn't have lock picking, it doesn't matter. Sucker. What fools they are just to leave keys lying everywhere. This is the li It's the archives, I think. I was going to say library. Same kind of same difference. So... Do you mind if I pick this key up, sir? No. Good, good. What if I open this cupboard, sir? Oh, you're gonna run all the way around because of the stupid path thing. Thinks I'm clicking behind the cupboard, which is dumb. Okay, so you're cool if I open it. How do you feel about me? Hey, stop, thief! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Okay, cool. So you do see me. Very clever. Uh, well... Only guild members are permitted to enter my studies. Uh, I'm interested in this. I'll speak to you again if I need something. So, like, we know where Malcolm's house is because Maria told us. So let's go get that evidence and bring it to Trevor. Good day, officer. Heard any news? Thanks for your time. Didn't mean to talk to you, officer. But let me go see Sir Dante. Before I see Sir Dante, let me see Sir Patrick because he wants me to steal something from Sir Dante. So we might as well go do that. Even though it's wicked to do such a thing, but I mean, there are some things I'm willing to do. Sir Dante's rich. He's not going to miss whatever it is I take. Sorry. He got rich by profiting off of the labor of others. He's a filthy capitalist. Sorry, Jonesy. I'm a capitalist. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really want to go too far to areas I'm not supposed to be in just because. So this is Rendell. Sorry, these are trying times. Greetings, Rendell. I have to do some business with Sir Dante, but I've never dealt with him before. What can you tell me about him? Is he a good master? It was my honor to work for him. Five years ago, I attempted to offer my services at Stormfist Castle. Alas, the Duke was not satisfied with my abilities, and I was forced to resign. Sir Dante then hired me and has proved a most pleasant master to work for, though he does have his quirks. You said he has his quirks? Could you be a little more specific? Sir Dante is a very busy man, prone to becoming furiously angry when things do not go his way. He also suffers from certain private problems, too. Really? What kind of problems? I'm not at liberty to discuss the matter. One thing I can say is that there's been recent heated discussions with his wife, and Sir Dante is of a mind to calm his wife's temper with an expensive gift. How can I help? Visit Elmer Vignus, the Dwarven Jeweler, in, uh, in the Dwarven Hills. Tell him you were sent by me to pick up Sir Dante's gift from his wife. Where can I find this Dwarven Jeweler? I shall mark the location where you'll find Elmer on your map. You must travel to the Dwarven Hills and the mountains. You must cross Riverton and head through the Dark Forest to get there. Do you know the magic word? It would be most grateful if you would please go pick up the gift for Sir Dante's wife of the Dwarven Mines. Very well, I'll do as you ask. So that's a quest that we can do later. So this is Dante's house then. Let me go and talk to Patrick. Patrick wants me to steal a deed from him. Is this really Sir Dante's house? I guess it is. 
Huh, I somehow missed Sir Patrick. Well, I guess I came from up here, so... Whoops. Let's go down to Malcolm's house first. And get that, uh... Evidence that he's stealing crap. Forgive me if my forwardness, this stranger, but you look like a warrior of might. May I trouble you with a task I need performing? That entirely depends on what you'd have me do. My father died some days ago, and now my sister and I are arguing about our heritage. His house, though not worth much, is a uh, sentimental value to me. Why do you not share it with your sister? Therein lies the dilemma. My sister is unwilling to share and wants it all to herself. Oh, why do you not go to the off the officials here in Virgistus and let them settle the matter? She bewitched my father so that he favored her entirely in his will. He was not of a sound mind when he wrote that will. She's not even his natural daughter. She's adopted. So you need somehow to get your sister to admit to forcing your father to changing his will in her favor by use of magic? Yes, your present here is merely as backup and witness. She shall admit her lies and I'll pay 50 gold. I don't know which one involved with your family dispute. 100 gold pieces? Well, that's almost as much as the belts. Never mind, I agree. Look, there she is now. There you are, you bitch. I know you're trying to steal the house of our... of my father. I'm not stealing anything, Raffarella. Our father... Your name is Raffarella? You can't be a good person. ...would have never preferred you over his real daughter. How would you know? You haven't visited him in months. Not since he first fell ill. Who cared for him through his sickness? Who paid her last penny to the healer for Papa's medicine? Me! That's who! I bet you didn't pay a thing for that medicine, you slut. You've never given away money when you could pay your debts with your horse body. And why did you ask him for the medicine anyway? It just prolonged father's illness. You should have let him die with dignity the first week he fell ill. But now, outsider, tell us women, though you were mistaken in this matter. Your sister cared for your father. She has just as much rights to your father's heritage as you have. What the hell and damnation? Yeah, get out of here. Be mindful of where you work for next time, stranger. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. Listen, I did the right thing. I don't think I got the money, which is fine, honey. It's quite fine. I'm down here. Ma Malcolm's house is up there. There's a chicken coop back here that has money in it. The little girl, whenever you rescue her cat, she lets you know that there's something in the chicken coop back here. If you didn't, like, go exploring and see it for yourself. So save, because inside there's a snake. And he's crazy put that away don't want to kill any of these animals and it's an easy five hundred dollars again the little girl tells you it's there but i mean you can get it before she tells you it's not like you have to have her tell you where it is and so this is malcolm's house and like he has like there are no guards here in his house he's just sort of here this book appears to contain the financial records of the merchant's guild so grab this put it in my inventory Leave. I think we have to talk to Trevor. I think it's Trevor that we talk to. Um, repair, repair. Where is it? Here we go. There you go. Malcolm was indeed. I should go and report this to the Merchant's Guild. Yep. Yep. Let me go see Sir Patrick first. Then I'll go see Sir Dante, and I think he has me do something for him. I don't remember what it was. I'm not in the mood for long conversations. In a few hours, I have to return to my post. May I know your name? I'm Sergon, a proud soldier of the Ducal Army. I'm presently serving under Commander Kratos. What can you tell me about the commander? Commander Kratos is a good man, even though he's a bit demoralized just at the moment. He's fighting political corruption, but without success. There's corruption in this town? Sure, the Assassin's Guild is very powerful and controls almost all sectors of public life in Verdistus. Most of Commander Kratos' own men wouldn't arrest a guild assassin if they caught him red-handed. They're all too afraid. The Lily Livers. I don't want to serve you. Rest well. Trackers tunic. This was really good last time, too. Oh, it has five charms in it. Five charm slots. Five lightning res, five poison res. This has ten fire and five poison, but it has five slots in it. I kind of want that. Five slots, though, is not too shabby. Sucker. Not too shabby at all. That just means I can custom, like, tailor it to suit my needs. Robert. A man was executed in Riverton this morning for stealing a loaf of bread. Janice knows how to deal with thieves and murderers. Oh, yeah? Stealing bread, huh? I mean, he's clearly a tyrant, so... You know, he's not gonna stay in power for long, I'm just saying. Duke Janice. Also, he's a weird, creepy demon man. I don't know if you knew that, either. Talk is rife that Sir Dante and his wife are not talking to each other lately. There's rumor of a divorce in the air. Oh, yeah? Terry? 
<laughs> Put my weapon away. I don't want to accidentally kill anything. Except rats, of course. Rats are okay, I guess. <laughs> wonder if I can open these chests. Let me see. Control S. I do have rank 3 lockpicking. Spirit res. Monk's long dagger. Just has magic. Not that great. Lion's light chainmail. I have to sell all this crap at some point. Very good. I mean, the game kind of hints that it wants you to steal this stuff. Oh, look. Mr. Dante wanted me to come to steal Patrick's deed. Uh, do you have a quest for me? Uh, let me see. Well met, Sir Patrick. I hope business serves you well. Yes, yes, thank you. And if you're clever today, it will also become your lucky day. Nobody needs a few extra coin, right? You appear to be one of the town's richest inhabitants. I'm the, ripest, I'm the richest person in town, though it can often be more of a burden than a blessing. Wealth a burden? How so? Wealth attracts envy and plenty of enemies, my friend. There are a lot of people in this town that would like to see me ruined. Why, only recently there... That damn Sir Dante has been a thorn in my side for some time. Tell me more about Sir Dante. He is a most disagreeable fellow, constantly gossiping about other people. I had, a dispute, I had a dispute with him recently, and now I fear he plots against me. What sort of dispute did you have with him? Oh, I outbid him during an auction held in town recently. He didn't like that at all. He stormed out of the auction, red-faced and fuming, threatening me with ruin. Now, whenever something terrible occurs in my life, I'm convinced it's due to Dante. Yes. Okay, so I had it backwards. I had it backwards. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Dante's house is all the way over there. It's just faster for me to run over here, sleep so that I can make it not dark, and then just take the teleporter back to this, this place. You in here, Sir Dante? You are. What do we? What do you want, peasant? My time is short, and I don't like it when dirty strangers come strolling through my house. Since you're such an important person, what can you tell me about the town of Redistus? I can tell you that I'm the most important person in Redistus. That is all you need to know. I've heard from a friend that you can get excellent contacts in the Assassin's Guild. Not so loud, you idiotic oaf. Who is this friend of yours? Who spreads such slanders? Ralph, commander of the town watch of Riverton. No, 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 that was just a joke. Um, Zandalor the wizard. Perhaps I could introduce in someone in the Assassin's Guild, but my introductions don't come cheap if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I don't want money, but you will have to do me a little favor. I need you to break into Sir Patrick's house and steal his title deed. His title deed? What would you want to do with that? None of your damn business, peasant. Now get going. I urgently need that title, dude. Where is Sir Patrick's house, and where? why do you think he keeps the title, dude? I'll mark it down. So if I steal this for you, you introduce me to someone important to the Assassin's Guild. Very well, Blue Blood. You have a deal. You'll see, it's going to lead us to the Merchant's Guild anyway, so... I'm going to want to kind of do all those things at once. And it just feels right to me that we deal with all these assassins down here, because they're, like, lower level... Um... He's over here, yes? Yes. I have to go now. Sorry, I didn't mean to, didn't mean to click on you, sir. What's annoying is I didn't memorize the proper way to open up the door back here. But there's a portal stone you wouldn't, like... You wouldn't know it was here unless, like, you really, really looked for it. Like, I found it by just running around his house and I saw that it led here and the deed is in this room and it's a switch puzzle I uh... don't remember what the the answer was so unfortunately so that locks that door it opens this door let me see is this door open down here no none of these are open so let's hit this switch and see what happens these three are still locked this one is open now so what if I hit this one okay now these two bottom ones are open but not that one. So let me check over here. What happens if I hit this switch? That one's still locked. And what if I hit this switch over here? It's still locked. And what if I hit this final one right here? There you go. There you go. Very good. I, I think we get a reputation here for stealing it, but sometimes you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet, dude. Yeah, these these are are pretty high level locks, unfortunately. Crazy, dude. You probably need, like, lockpicking five or something crazy. How do we get out of here? Oh, portal stone. Duh. Sucker. No puzzle has ever stopped me. It may take me forever to solve it, but you can bet your sweet ass it will be solved. Sir. Sir Dante, that is your real name. 
Or you Sir Patrick. I forget. Sir Dante is the one that wants us from Sir Patrick. Put my knife away. Don't know why it was out. Didn't even attack anybody. Sorry. Didn't mean to click on you, lady. Didn't even see you there. You know, I've never bothered to, like, look over here. I imagine they'd get pissed, though. I imagine they would. I don't see a key here. Let me control S. Lockpick failed. So clearly you need really high lockpick to get into these like treasure rooms and stuff back here. Since you were such an important person, I have the title deed you wanted. You've clearly mistaken me for someone who gives a frick for your, your petty problems. I did my part by stealing the title deed. Are you going to hold up your end of the bargain? Sir Dante always keeps his word. I've arranged everything with the assassins. Yorin, a high-making assassin, awaits you in the archives of the Merchant Guild. So, ding, level 16. Oh. I didn't make a save for 15. Oh, whoops. Well, that's fine. Hey, you know, it's fine. W-I-N-S-T. 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 in Constitution. Like I said, I'm trying to get my strength up to 55. I never really tried to break into the rest of this dude's house. I don't know, like, I'll hold off, or like, I guess I'll start I'll getting stay. points in enchant weapon. I don't know, but it's- I need so many points as a weapon user, it's kind of crazy. Like, I could maybe get elemental arrows. Most things in the game are weak to magic of some kind. Like, I could have got lightning arrow, or lightning damage, excuse me, I'm pressing matter, so it's tend to. Could have done a lot of different things. So this is the Merchant's Guild right here. Yarn is over there, let me... Go talk to Trevor first, though. I've discovered that Malcolm is stealing money from the Merchant's Guild by fooling around with the financial records. Here's the evidence. What? Let me see that. But this would mean that one of my closest friends has been stealing and lying for all these years. I will immediately throw him out of this guild. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Actually... A woman named Maria brought Malcolm's treachery to my attention. She says Malcolm wrongfully accused her family and she lost everything because of this. She told me of his treachery and asked me to expose him. Maria, then it seems we wrongfully accused her and the family then. Malcolm fooled us with his treacherous lies. If you see her again, please tell her she's welcome again in Verdistus and we are deeply sorry for the suffering we have caused. Uh, what about becoming a member of the guild now? I'm relieved Malcolm has been exposed and arrested. He could have brought great disrepute upon the merchant's guild for your services i hereby grant you lifetime membership to our guild and offer our thanks here's your personal key to the archive of the merchant's guild you might find the information in there useful is there anything i can do now that i'm a member there's a store in the merchant's quarter that sells nothing but inferior goods we suspect that the owner is engaging in under-the-counter dealings with stolen goods and he does not have a license from our guild you want me to speak with this owner find this merchant in the riverton market area and see if you can expose his dubious dealings his name is tingolf i know lieutenant robin from the riverton guards has him under suspicion to deal with stolen goods but i need proof okay i'll speak to you again if i need something okay dark forest not there's not really like a lore playthrough per se I'm, like i said man it's hard to read this text they picked like the worst font for this cooking recipes five meat pie cooking recipes two chicken with fennel i mean they sound delicious but uh, it doesn't really help me now does it so the cat is here somewhere where is it a lot tighter than a dwarf's ass lockpick failed lockpick failed Lockpick failed. And lockpick failed. Well. Well, well. So Yarn is over here. Control S. I'm not trying to tell you to use it. Talk to Yarn. Sir Dante sent me. Hmm, yeah, Sir Dante told me to expect you. Now what business have you with the Assassin's Guild? I'm investigating the Duke's death. I believe he was murdered and I seek the murderer. And you assume the Assassin's Guild is involved? I do, is my assumption correct? I must say that you truly are the fool of fools, walking in here asking me, the Guild Master of the Assassin's Guild, if I have anything to do with the death of the Duke. I assume you also think you shall leave her alive. Assassins to me! Uh oh. It's a hidden passageway to the secret Assassin's Guild. Um, I don't remember if this was like a super crazy dungeon. Let me sell all this crap that I've been accumulating. Music sure is spooky down here. This is no time to sleep. Oh, okay. Whatever. So yes, we've got a couple of missions here, talking about Teen Golf and all that jazz. So what do you have for sale? Money give. Let's uh, see if this dude has any charms that I might want. Yeah, like I have 85% chance to hit with these lockpicks equipped, so. 
Greeting shopkeep, tell me about your store. Why is the Duke Ogham recruiting so many soldiers? Do you have any special offers today by chance? Medium int and that's it, man. You're what if I go over here you get Oh. What are you doing, sir? You can distract him. What are you performing? I've not heard of him. Could you give me an example? Perhaps if I give you ten gold pieces? Excellent. And I say to you that the winds are spoken words. Whispering whispers. Roaring, shouting. A voice from the outer worlds. No matter what race, no matter what species, the winds speak. The wind cried Mary. Oh, I love this. Bravo! Bravo! Encore! A most excellent performance! And it is hard to listen to them. Sucker. Okay, that does nothing. Level 5 dagger. Fade from sight. Ah, shit. It's fine, dude. I got all I needed. Eh. 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 I think. Um... Spider's leather belt. Huh? I didn't see that pop up on my... Is it anything... Ooh... It only has one charm on it, but man. Three to strength. This has 26 vitality on it. This has 40 magic, three offense, two int, two agi. It uh, has two in mana, dam mana drain, fire damage, lightning damage. It has death blow. That's kind of crazy. It would only be super duper good if it had more slots on it. Well. Thanks for the dagger, Jeffus. Um... What are my stats again? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep pumping points and strength until I have it at 55, and then I can wear that shield, that yellow shield, and I'll reload off camera. How are you, friend? I can imagine in times of war, the black market always flourishes. Hey, hey, all right, hey. Okay, so I forget. You gotta, there's a whole thing involved with this, but we're not doing that now. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's uh, go back to Verdistus. Man, I hope the royal dagger is actually really good because some of those bosses at the end are really gnarly. Like the ones that cast blind on you and perma cast hell spikes cause your character to- Whoa! Whoa! Uh oh, these guys are kind of hurting. Bottle of Jennifer. Jennifer's body. 